Hi, my name is Frederick Beck. I've always had a fascination for animals, so wherever I go, I try to interact with and learn about as many animals as possible. And of course, share my experience and knowledge. I am the Bavarian Herper. And in this little short video you're gonna see, I'm gonna talk about sexual dimorphism in tarantulas. Because it's not always that easy with these guys to tell what sex they are, especially with the baby ones. So I hope you enjoy the video guys. Okay guys, so at the moment I'm lucky enough to have an adult pair of P. regalis or Indian ornamental tarantulas. And what's very interesting with these guys is that they actually um, display sexual dimorphism. And what that is, is basically it's the difference in appearance between males and females of the same species. Um, as in, for example, shape, color, size or structure. Um, and that is actually caused by the inheritance of one um, or the other sexual pattern in the genetic material. So the most common example that everyone should know is for example ducks or peacocks, you know. Um, just, you know, by their color and stuff like that, they're quite different males and females and that's how you can very easily actually tell them apart. Um, with tarantula it's a whole different story. Um, I think you guys should know that, for example, you know, uh, most of the tarantulas, they, in color and stuff, they, males and females, if they even if they're mature, they look very much alike. Um, males, I think, actually, for, from my own experience, they tend to have a bit longer limbs, look a bit more, more spidery, kind of. Um, but yeah, that's not been proven or anything. Um, so yeah, but there's an... To every rule there's an exception and that is P. regalis. So let's start. Let me show you the male. So as you can see he's quite dull in color. Got pretty thin limbs. He's pretty hairy as well. So yeah, that's him. You can see he has kind of a more brownish color. Not really a pattern. Here you can kind of see. He has very long limbs, as I said. Brownish color. You can kind of see the yellow and there is front legs so in German if you translate it to English they're actually also called a, a tiger bird eating spider and that's because of the yellow and the black obviously as you already can obviously see now she is actually a bit bigger And then obviously, you know, she's got thicker limbs, not as hairy in my opinion, or maybe that's just because her hair is more like a silvery color. And she's got the pattern there on her abdomen, pattern on a carapex. And you can also kind of see... The yellow there. legs see a very beautiful spider but totally different in coloration so that's actually a, an exception and a very pretty one indeed because although the male may seem you know dull in color and stuff like that and not really 
doesn't have a lot of pattern and stuff like that in my opinion it's still a very very pretty spider um, and then also these Indian ornamentals they are pretty big spider also I mean I can put my hand down here like this and you can see he's stretched out now so he's about as long as my hand and she's even a bit longer than that so yeah there are two very beautiful spiders and I just thought that I'd show that to you quickly whilst I have the chance um, because I'm actually giving the mail away just because at the moment with studying and stuff I don't really have the time for um, baby tarantulas so I'm gonna give them away to someone who does breed them and who has the time um, to reproduce these guys and yeah make sure that there's supply of pretty little pyrigalis yeah, they're just very I mean li like that you can already see he's much more browner she's much more like gray and stuff but they both have this extreme yellow and black on their front legs on the underside of their front legs so yeah I hope you guys enjoy that and um, if you did please leave me a like or comment and also feel free to subscribe to my channel thank you